So what we're going to do now is basically the following here. We're going to do this one first. We have to trigger it. So trigger and check if it exists, yes or no. So how do we trigger this? Well, let's look at this here. We already created a tooltip here. We already had this external part. This external is a constant, but this constant will be basically a function in itself. So we're going to copy this. So we say this external, but because this is a constant, we need to put it here above so it will load first. So in here, what we're going to do here is we can just say, yeah, uh, maybe we can call it the tool. It's not really a tooltip plugin. So tooltip, maybe custom tooltip. Custom tooltip plugin or block. It's probably better. Term. So uh, in here, we're going to say the following. We say this, and we have to make here a constant. And this will be a function immediately. And what do we do with the function? We say equal, and then we get the context. We say constant, and basically what we're doing here is what we call a uh, arrow function operator, writing in short a function in JavaScript. So we say here this, and this is our parameter. And in this parameter, what we want to do is here we say constant, then we grab here two values, the chart, comma, tooltip, which are uh, essential for us, equals context. All right. So once we have this, we can now start working on building it. So basically, this is the trigger itself. And uh, what it really does here is the following. We say here another one, not a constant. And this constant will be the element we're going to work on to create our tooltip. Because what we're going to do now is we're going to trigger it. All right, we trigger it. But then we need to, since this is the, the first one, but the first one is... It's not chronological, meaning that it will go down first. So this will be referring to here. All right. So number one is down here. And then later on here, you can just say here will be the, this is the trigger part. This is one, the trigger. I'll just put it in here because then constant here will be the following. That will be, we can just give it any name. I'll just say tooltip element equals, and then we're going to use a function name because uh, I saw in charge of documentation, they use this one, the get or create or create tooltip. And then we can say here chart. So we get this one. And basically, this is the first part. So what this really does is we're going to, once we load here, it triggers this, it will load this stuff, and then eventually it will check here first for this specific function. Which of course we have to make here up because why this one this function needs to be loaded here above first. So what we could do as well here maybe is this console.log and then we can show here maybe certain value. You can grab a context. I'll just put this here out so we don't get any error. Put it in near semicolon. Save this and see what happens. Here what we have, we open up well, nothing at all as of now. And if I put in the chart doesn't show anything at all. All right. So for now, it doesn't show anything at all. However, later on, it will start working on it. So this is the first part. So now we're going to work on the second part. Thank you for watching this video, and I hope you enjoy it. And if you enjoy this video, you probably will enjoy this one as well. And if you're interested in Chart.js, check out in the description box the link directing to my Chart.js course where you can learn everything about Chart.js. And finally, of course, Make sure you subscribe to my channel.